Hello, welcome back to Prison Architect. We've just had, at the end of the last episode, uh, we just had all these new prisoners turning up. Here's a bunch of them, and there's a load more coming, and there's probably going to be some more. Oh, yeah, there's some more up there. We had 20 new prisoners coming in, which is rather a lot. So we're going to very quickly uh, take a little look at who we've got here, uh, just because we always do. We'd like to know who our prisoners are. Paul Stonelake, aged 46, sentenced to six years for multiple crimes including carjacking, burglary and robbery. Uh, he's also done for kidnapping and dangerous driving. That's that's pretty bad. And you're a pretty bad guy. Uh, who else we have? Richard Brown, aged 41, sentenced to 13 years for false imprisonment. Wow. And he pled guilty to it, which is why he probably only got 13 years. I think in America you get a bit more than that generally. Uh, Stephen Petit, or Petit, Petit. Oh, it does it matter? Uh, age eighteen, two years for possession. Well, wow. Okay, you. You, I'm going to drop to minimum security. I know it doesn't really make a difference, but uh, it's just easier to keep an eye on people like that. Uh, James Hackett, thirty-eight, sentenced to fifteen years for multiple crimes, including arson and arson. Wow, so you're um, th you are do done twenty years of a thirty-nine year stretch. Right, oh, twenty years. So you've been in prison since you were eighteen. Christ, James Hackett, you've got to stop burning stuff seriously. Felix Cow, age forty-two, ten years for trafficking. Yeah, I don't know what you. Uh. A pretty bad guy there as well. Felix Curtis, age 31. Three years for violent disorder. You know, three year sentence, I, I would drop you down to a minimum, but violent disorder, that's that's not great. I mean, before that, you're only in for perjury last time. You served four years for perjury, and this time you've got three years for violent disorder. I don't know if that seems particularly fair. Paul Thompson, age 43. Nine years for assaulting an officer. And you pled guilty, so at least you know you did wrong, Paul Thompson. But you've got to do your time anyway. And uh, you've done 1.8 of those years. Paul Thomas. Oh, God, we've got a couple of Pauls here. Paul Thomas was a celebrity journalist convicted of stalking and sexual deviancy in a public park. Sentence of four years for multiple crimes, including joyriding and death by dangerous driving. Wow, so you... You basically you hit somebody in your car. It wasn't murder. It was death by Davies driving. Still, you got a good long sentence for it, and you deserve that. Uh, how about we look at these people up here? Can we look at them while they're still coming in on the bus? We can. Zachary Keebler McGriff. Zachary Keebler McGriff was arrested outside of a Michigan Waffle House after the police caught him illegally herding a pack of donkeys from Mexico. How he made it from Mexico to Michigan with an illegal pack of donkeys, no one knows. Sentenced to two years for multiple crimes including violent disorder and assaulting an officer. I like your style, Zachary McGriff. Um, and I would drop you down to minimum if you, the offences weren't actually quite violent. I mean, because smuggling donkeys, I don't know who gives a crap about that. Matt Cates, sentenced to three years for possession. And uh, you've done possession and criminal... You, you're you not a threat to anybody. Okay, can keep tabs on you like that. Richard Bailey, sentenced to 14 years for multiple crimes, including trafficking and trafficking. Okay, you're a bad guy. You deserve to be here. Sem the Sailor Akin. Sem the Sailor, once a noble captain. Everything began with an unknown child of him. One night, after a hard argument, he murdered his whole family. He convicted for seven murder and countless attempted murder. I don't think the person that created this character is, is English. Uh, I think this might be one of those names in the game that people can... The, some of the Kickstarter backers can create. Anyway, sentenced for 19 years for multiple crimes including aggravated burglary and armed robbery. Whoo, you're a bad guy! Yeah, we'll leave you at normal though. I mean, you didn't actually kill anyone. Dylan Thomas, believed to have killed a total of nine people after discovering his beloved dog had developed a taste for human flesh. Since it's 18 years for arson. Not for 
killing nine people and feeding them to his dog. No, he got caught for arson. Right. Another dude in a black shirt. Robert Arctic Zagami. Robert Arctic Zagami's file has been redacted, so we don't know why he why he's here or for how long. What we do know is that you shouldn't get between him and his pudding or watching his stories. Nine years for death by dangerous driving. We well, should be a bit more bloody careful, shouldn't you? Aston Richardson, sentenced 16 years for aggravated burglary. Whew, that's a long time for a bit of burglary, I do have to say. And Matthew Scharf is a political activist that was arrested in Manhattan, New York for insurrection against the government in support of the working class. Three years for violent disorder. Yeah, well, you you shouldn't have gone against the government then, really, should you? Since they're the people that have the power to put you in jail. I want to think about that next time. Ooh, my bad. And we've got some families coming in. Vennings. Vennings' wife and son and daughter. There we go. Uh, Tom Hawkins. Ten years for carjacking. Well, that's... That's... Well, I suppose that's fair. Ten years, that's fair. Tim Underwood. Five years for rioting. Yeah, you can... You can... In fact... I don't like the look of you, Tim Underwood, and I don't like rioters. Do you know what hell that caused for me travelling to and from work a couple of years ago? When the people in London were rioting and, you know? Yeah. It might not have been you. In fact, it wasn't you, pretty sure. But, yeah, you just happened to have done the wrong thing. Uh, Ed Scutt. 20 years for arson. 20 years for a first offence! Wow! Dude, sorry. I mean, you're going to be here for a long time. Uh, and Simon Damon, three years for multiple crimes, including violent disorder and assault. Yeah, you're a pretty bad guy as well. That's why you're wearing the bad guy van bandana, and the uh, you got the little douchebag moustache and beard there. Yeah, you think you're a bad guy anyway. Wait until you spend some time in this prison. Right. Well, they are going to all start to get be all be ex escorted to their uh, well, probably to the holding cell. To be honest, we'll start time rolling again because we've got to wait for uh, the workers to come and start building this stuff. Um, and in the meantime, we've also got to lay out uh, the electrical cables. Which can go all the way down here and up here, and we've got to lay out some large pipes. But we'll wait until the electrical cables in because, well, as we remember from this uh, and from uh, somewhere else, it caused something of a problem last time. So you go and do your thing right there. Uh, start laying in this cable. Start building these. You put a bed in first. Out of everything to put in, you chose to put that bed there first. Well, um, I'm thinking... Oh god, these guys are being put in cells, aren't they, at least? Okay, so some of them are going to cells, the first lot. And uh, I'm thinking we might need more staff. We have 12 workmen. Look, one, two more workmen. Or work ladies, as it appears. Yes, they're definitely work ladies. Uh huh. And uh, we've got good money coming in. Two more. We've got 16 workmen and work women, I guess. Work peoples of uh, various genders. Okay, so who? What we've we got going on here? Let's turn that off. Okay, so Venig is um, Venig is seen his his family. Uh, Paul Thomas is, is seeing his dad. That's cool. Uh, the Gibbs' his family are waiting. Gibbs, was not that you here? Aston Gibbs. Oh, well, they're going to be... Uh, that's saving. They're going to be waiting a little while uh, because he uh, had drugs and tools on him and he requires two hours in solitary. This is not getting fixed, is it? We're going to have to build some more solitary somewhere. Um, 
yeah, what we've got here, how wide is this? This is three blocks, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Fine, we, what we're going to do then is uh, foundation, building foundation, and we'll have them have it built here and fill this in here as well. Um, we might get some use if we fill this in as part of an indoor. I really wanted to keep that outdoor, but we'll fill that in for indoors as well, see if that helps. Okay, so you guys uh, have got plenty of jobs to be getting on with. Wow. Yeah, you really do need to be getting on with these jobs, you know. Um, got Well, that's the only deliveries we've got coming in. That's the last of the prisoners. They're getting escorted to the correct places, hopefully. Oh, So we've just got to... I think we'll just speed up time a bit at the moment, because we really are in the set mode where we've got to wait. What else are we going to do? If we feed the prisoners, we might need more cooks. Um, with this many prisoners, 43 prisoners, I think we might need some more cooks. We've got... Have we got four? No, we've got three cooks, but we've got four... Yeah, we'll, we'll hire another cook. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, the place is clean and tidy, for the most part. So we've got enough janitors to keep keep dibs on things yeah look everything's actually looking good for a change um, what about uh, so what right because we're gonna r r uh, raise our prisoner, uh, prisoner capacity this will be mostly done here that's no problem. waiting for the short-term investment uh, the staff are exhausted well you go and rest if you're exhausted you go rest that's that's how it works so I'm not worrying that eight more prisoners coming tomorrow 17 awaiting solid confinement and 4 awaiting medical treatment. Well, yeah, we've really got to get this solitary built now, haven't we? That's the uh, that's the, really the important thing right now. So while this is being built, we can build the solitary on the side of here. Um, that will probably leave us enough room to expand the infirmary should we need to. Uh, so that's all fine. I'm not too worried about that. Um... Who's this? Waiting for... Petit's father. He's just arrived. He's got visitors already. Okay. Oh, the shower room. Oh, yeah. We need to put in some... Some small pipes on these shower heads. There we go. That'll get done in short order. Oh, here's the janitors cleaning up. Oh, God, there's a big mess in here. Maybe we'll get one more janitor. Just one more. Uh, and you can start in there. Well, no. Okay, you'll you'll leave and go elsewhere then, I guess. Um, fine. Okay, so this is built. So this is built, so why is this not... Now... Why is this still saying it requires an entrance? And why can you walk through... There? You know what? Um, that back to normal mode and not having anybody running their asses out. See, look, it was making a break for. Where do you think you're going? Uh, oh, wait, that was the that was his fa oh, phew, that was his father. Oh, that's not a prisoner. Prisoners don't wear blue. I just oh, I had a bit of a a bit of a moment there because I thought the guard had just opened up the door and let a prisoner out. We've got somebody bleeding in his cell here. Um, can we do something about that, do you think? Where about the rest? Where's the rest of our... I know we don't have enough to go into the cell, so I guess... Oh, wait, they're all in the holding cell otherwise. Right, okay, this has been built now, has it? Good. Now, this should, if I... Oh, some guys have been caught with some tools. Okay, the, the, the guards are dealing with that. Materials, demolish walls. Let's delete that wall there. And we'll get on to some planning. Planning walls. So we need somewhere for these solitary cells to to go, don't we, really? So we're going to... I think we'll just stick them here. Um, yeah, we're going to stick them here. So we want a little area, maybe... We're going to leave... One, two, three for a doorway. Okay, now hopefully that should... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right, that's now a corridor. 
Uh, there's no lights been been put in there, so brilliant actually. Uh, lights. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Those lights are probably okay actually. I'm gonna stick one there. That's fine. Uh, for this, for a change, the lights are actually okay. Right, back to planning. Planning this place out. Uh, have you finished building all of this now? Oh, good. Yeah. Well, nearly. Um, have you put in all the? You're not quite putting all. Why is there a gap there? Fill that in, please. Honestly. What the hell you think you're playing at? Otherwise, though, um, we can run large pipe along here. We can run it up to here. We can run it down to here. We can put, fill in the small pipes. And there, there, there. I'll stop saying there after every one and I'll just run the pipes in. Okay. That should be fine. Uh, and then we've just got to wait for them to fill in that and then I can run the rest of the pipes down there. However, those cells are, are mostly done. Back to the solitary. So we're going to want a gap of one, two, three here. Okay, and then... Did I... Oh, slick walls. There we go. So one, two, three, okay, so that's just a marker. And we, yeah, we're going to have a line of solitary cells. How many do we want? Eight? Well, we need a lot, actually. We do need a lot. Um, I'm going to run it as wide as this. And we might as well join this down to here and make this whole area for solitary or as much of it as we need. So, one, two, three. If we say there. And you need, they need two spaces for solitary. How many can we fit here? Is this going to work out nicely? Uh, in fact, that. Oh, you know, there's. The guards, get onto that guards, there's, yep, they've been caught with their tools. We're going to have to do a shakedown sometime soon, aren't we? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. The gap of three. That's 12 solitary cells. I think that will be fine. In fact, actually, that's just right. Uh, the workmen aren't particularly busy now. We can probably get the rest of this... Yeah, look, the, the power's in. We can get the rest of this pipe work in. So, large pipes, please. And then... Large pipes there. And we'll... Okay, we've got to run the large pipe to here. Uh, there. That's fine. No. Small pipes. Don't do your usual bullshit on me. There we go. Right, so that lot should be underway. That should be fine. These cells will be finished fairly soon. Um, we're certainly we're getting the oh, that look. The prisoner capacity is, is way up. That's that's good. Sleep time. Come sleep time. We will uh, assign people to their cells um, from the holding cell. In the meantime, you guys need to get on and build that. And this, you know what, screw this. We can just delete this now, I guess. Um, brick wall. Fill in that gap there. And uh, demolish walls. Um, click, right, cancel this. Uh, planning. Cancel this planning. Uh, can we demolish all this? Foundations. 
bulldoze this. But first of all, fill in that wall, won't you? Okay, they're just waiting for a guard. Probably going to have to play with the patrols pretty soon as well. But I'd like this all to get done. This prison is certainly growing. And we've got we've got a lot of guys. We've got a lot of cells here. Uh, and we've got 48. We do need a bigger prisoner capacity. Um, we can do that. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, actually. We're going to need to run some, lay some foundations and things. I can do that planning, but that's fine. What we need to do is, I did think, I, I realised that we've got all these guys in now, and none of them are working. We do need to uh, research something to, so we can get people working. Prison labour for a thousand. There you go. That's that's going now. Um, should we should we research the extra grant as well? I think we could do that. Uh, what else do we need? Prison policy. Oh well, yeah. I think that's probably quite important. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, patrols contraband. What's this? Contraband requires a chief. Train your for your guards to become better at tracking or covering contraband. Uh, unlocks the supply and demand. Oh, shows also shows where places. Yeah. Can we we? That's not super important at the moment. Um, we will definitely need to be dealing with that soon, though. Uh, say so to the prisoners, prison intake. We're okay. We're just waiting on the things to actually be built right now, and then for it to turn night, so we can get these guys to their cells. Uh, maybe we could spend a little bit of money on on prettying this place up in the meantime. Uh, that could work. Let's see the. Oh, we could really do with some nice green. That's that's something to keep our guys busy once they've. In fact, let's let them do that. Let's move on time. And let's get them. Let that. I'd like to get these solitary cells built today. What are you doing down there? Free time. You're just going to go and sit in the canteen. Okay, you're going. Oh, you're just waiting for dinner time. You've got nothing to do in your free time, so you're just waiting for your dinner. Fair enough. Uh, oh, alright, they've got to take down all these trees, haven't they? Okay, you guys, you go ahead and knock down the trees. Um, we can make this go a bit quicker, actually. That's it, come on. There they go. They will transport all the logs back. We've got some logs in uh, storage, uh, which is actually, fortunately, quite empty at the moment, and deliveries. Um, is as well so that's good we, we we got on top of that problem fairly quick who is this but his father is back he's back how often does this guy get visitation he only arrived today honestly okay so is this no can we can you finish building this do you think yeah we're, we're almost there let's just bring it down to a more reasonable speed we're almost there. Are you guys actually doing anything? I mean, there's, is there still... Four people still require medical attention, but that's because they still require uh, solitary time. And they can bleed out in their solitary cells when when that's dealt with. That is just not getting dealt with, is it? Honestly, that's pretty terrible. Uh, we might have to deal with something with that in a bit, but at the moment it's not important. Getting this finished is important. Is this finished? Does this just require an entrance now? Let's roll up. I mean, time's rolling on at a pretty fast speed. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... Okay, now that one's finished. Right, okay. So, while we've got a guy here... This better, I mean, oh, this this could be, we'll just do one section of this wall. Demolish, demolish wall. Demolish wall. Yep, that's it, come on. Yeah. Okay, now demolish those two as well. Fantastic. F fantastic. Then we can put these in here. There we go. 
Right, we can shuffle that along a little bit because that's now getting built. Got your solitary cells ready, guys. Are all our prisoners getting fed, or have we do we need to do something seriously? Do we need to? They've got to be getting fed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's. What have they got? Bacon and cabbage, by the looks of it. Uh, oh, and oh, I don't even want to know what that is. Plenty of bacon for you guys, though. Um, and there does appear to be enough food, uh, and there's probably not enough places for them to sit, though. In all honesty. Okay, we've got some space. It's not ideal, but we've got some space. I'll put in some more um, tables. Uh, one there. We'll have one big long table here, basically. And there we go. Okay, they should be coming shortly. We should have plenty of spaces for people to sit then. Okay. Right, and this is all ready here. Uh, the lights were oh, put in, of course they were, because I wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, let's. We've got to spend a lot of what little money we've got left here uh, for solitary cells. Solitary. I think they just needs to be. Yeah, it could be any as long as it's enclosed, it doesn't matter. So it can be one by ones. And solitary doors on all of these. There we go. Right, now that should be dealt with pretty soon. Oh, we're gonna run in some uh run in some power. Like this. There we go. Oh, well, it's a bit more than I needed, but never mind. In fact, we'll just cancel that one. Okay, let's get out of this view because it, it, it kind of lags a little bit, to be honest. Power situation is looking good. Water seems to be okay. We might need to put in a second water pump sooner rather than later. Uh, this guy has just been caught with... Um, it's been searched of... Well, somebody had a fork. And he had a fork as well. Right, we do need to um, to deal with uh, the people trying to smuggle shit around the prison at the moment. But that will have to be next time because we're running out of time. This has gone on for quite long enough. Um, this is almost half hour video. Uh, which is longer than it really should be. So what I'm going to do between now and next time is I'll have them rearrange these lights. Uh probably at some point. I'm going to plan out some more cells. Well, I think we'll continue running cells along here. Um, although we're going to have to make a way down here, I think, before we run any more cells. Uh, so we can... Uh, did they fill in that wall? Yes, good. Yeah, we're going to have to make it because otherwise they're going to be... Oh no, I suppose we could use this corridor here. We'll, I'll figure something out. I'll plan something out and then I'll show you and it will be good. Uh, we're also going to have to put everybody into their cells, um, which I will probably do fairly soon. Ah, people are still being removed to their solitary, so it's actually probably a good time to pause um, and stop the video, because I want to see who goes into solitary, and I want you to see as well. Anyway, uh, that's it, so I'm off, and thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.